Salutations and Howdy Ego Hackers, my name is Sam Wise, and today we embark on an enlightening journey to understand the hero function, the head of our personality. It is very capable and very prideful and just waiting to come crashing down. You see, the hero can't do everything on its own, although I'd like to imagine it could, which is why we need to develop it even further. This video is about how to develop our hero function into the stronger, more capable warrior function, enhancing our cognitive abilities and achieving personal growth. While the hero function is our powerhouse, it isn't without its boundaries. Over-reliance on the single aspect can lead us down a narrow path. Our hero thrives on its strengths, but when we solely depend on them, we risk overlooking the diverse abilities within us, hindering personal growth and capabilities. Acknowledging these limitations paves the way for the evolution of our hero into something greater. The warrior function. The warrior function emerges when our hero matures, combining its innate strength with the wisdom gained from life experience. Unlike the hero, the warrior is adaptable, resilient, and well-rounded, capable of navigating complex situations while retaining its core strength. The warrior is not a one-trick pony. It represents the harmony of cognitive functions, a balanced approach leading to cognitive integration and enlightenment. The warrior is stronger because it isn't alone. With that being said, let's take a deep dive into each of the hero functions and see how they become warrior functions. Extrovert Thinking Hero The TE hero found in ENTJs and ESTJs is initially driven by organization, status, and information gathering. These are all fine and good, but as they evolve into TE warriors, these types integrate their natural leadership with a deeper understanding of others' needs and motivations. This evolution allows them to become strategic leaders who not only pursue efficiency and achievement, but also exhibit sympathy and moral considerations in their decisions. Notice the integration of the other functions like others' needs, extrovert sensing, motivations, extroverted intuition, sympathy and moral considerations, introverted feeling. Feel free to play this fun game with me as I go through each of the warrior functions. And if you need a refresher on the cognitive functions, Check out Season 1, Episodes 2 through 9. But that was how the TE hero becomes a warrior function. Up next is Introverted Thinking Hero, and how it evolves. INTPs and ISTPs equipped with TI hero are naturally adept at processing information with remarkable speed and accuracy. They are exceptional at detecting inconsistencies and logical flaws. As TI warriors, however, they retain their analytical core but expand to include the consideration of external impacts others' futures or others' experiences, and the human element in their problem-solving. Their problem-solving becomes about helping other people. Would you believe it? That was how the TI hero becomes a warrior function. Up next is how extroverted feeling hero transforms. ENFJs and ESFJs with their FE hero excel in nurturing and understanding others' emotions. Their natural empathy and ethical awareness make them adept at healing and supporting those around them. In their transformation to Effy Warriors, they balance their innate empathy with an understanding of complex social dynamics, making them emotionally intelligent leaders. That was how the Effy Hero becomes a warrior function. Up next is the evolution of Introverted Feeling Hero. INFPs and ISFPs characterized by Fi Hero are deeply in tune with their emotions, values, and moral philosophy. They express themselves vividly, driven by personal values and often skeptical of others' worth. As FI warriors, they not only remain true to their values, but also learn to navigate a world filled with diverse perspectives, becoming sympathetic advocates for broader causes. That was how the FI hero matures into a warrior. Next, we will explore the extroverted intuition hero's journey. ENTPs and ENFPs driven by any hero live in a world of endless possibilities and potential. They are natural visionaries keenly aware of possible outcomes and consequences. As any warriors, they blend their innovative thinking or their moral code with practical solutions, transforming from the idea guide to visionaries capable of bringing their ideas to fruition. That was the path of the any hero to warrior. Following this transformation, the path of the introverted intuition hero. INTJs and INFJs with NI hero are future-oriented, always exploring possibilities for their own lives. They are willful, often obstinate in pursuit of their own vision which can lead to burnout, and evolving into NI warriors, they gain resilience and adaptability, balancing their focused pursuit with an openness to change and an expanded view of their path. That was how NI hero evolves into a warrior. Next, we will look at the growth of extroverted sensing hero. 
ESTPs and ESFPs, empowered by SE Hero, are attuned to the sensory experiences and comfort levels of others. They seek to command attention and make those around them comfortable. As SE warriors, they not only continue to deliver compelling experiences, but also become tacticians of source, either using critical thinking or their ability to weigh things out to create situations for broader, lasting impacts. Instead of the experiences that they give just fleeting in the moment, it will stick with us for time to come. That was the evolution of the SE hero to SE warrior. Finally, let's examine the transformation of introverted sensing hero. ISTJs and ISFJs with SI hero prioritize safety, comfort, and strengths. They are the epitome of duty and reliability, motivated by fulfilling roles that their duty demands. As they mature into SI warriors, they maintain their reliability, but become adept at navigating change, transforming into sources of strength and stability in a fluctuating world. They are rocks that we rest on, and can build upon. That concludes our exploration of how each hero function evolves into its warrior counterpart. In transforming our hero into the warrior, we embrace a journey of growth. We understand that the hero is just one part of our cognitive functions, limited and narrow if left on its own. By developing other aspects of our cognitive functions, we equip the hero to handle challenges it can't face alone, leading to a more complete, balanced self. This evolution is essential for a fulfilling life, encouraging us to balance out our dominant strength with a holistic understanding of our cognitive abilities. So letting go of some of those ego investments will lead to a more fulfilling life. You're not just the thinking guy, or the ideas guy, or the kind guy, or the funny guy. You're a lot more than just these one things. Diversify today. And if you're looking for help to become more utilitarian in your approach, I recommend watching season two. But if you want more, ho -ho, I recommend you go to csjoseph.life and look at season 19. Season 19 is about becoming the best you that there is. You get a growth track for each of the 16 types, complete with finding your purpose, getting over obstacles, and optimizing your lifestyle. So what are you waiting for? Do future you a favor and go to csjoseph.life now. Thank you for joining me on this exploration of the hero to the warrior function. Don't let your hubris bring you down. Stay curious, ego hackers, and see you in the next video where we talk about the teenager function. Peace.